Hello, this is Lessons in History with Roger Weston. Welcome to my world where history repeats itself every day. We shine the light on great events, great heroes, great villains, and great disasters. We peel back the layers of history and uncover the lessons that we can learn from and benefit, in, benefit through in our own lives. But first, one of the great masters of overcoming adversity is none other than the hero of my recent novel, The Recruiter, by Roger Weston. Now, Chuck Brandt, Chuck Brandt is former CIA operative, and, and uh, he's just trying to start his life over. He's trying to do things right this time. He's living a quiet, peaceful, gentle life, but his employer won't allow that. They target him and they put him up against a wall basically and unfortunately that was a mistake because chuck brand is not going to back down anytime any place anywhere and they really should have known better than that so grab a copy it's the recruiter by roger weston now back to history on october 11th 1942 the uss destroyer the us the USS Duncan was sunken was sunk off the in the Battle of Cape Esperance you know, off the western coast of Guadalcanal, and this this was obviously a bad thing. We get now we got two hundred guys, two hundred sailors are now in the water swimming for their lives in shark infested waters. So that's a terrible situation. One of these sailors was the famous Navy SEAL Roy Bohm. Now at that point he was a sailor. He was not, there were no SEALs back in in 1942. And uh, so Roy Bohm all night long he swam for his life and he swam, he not only was swimming but he was carrying a guy, he was carrying a soldier, another sailor with him who was unconscious, barely conscious. And so at some point during the night, however, he was surrounded by sharks, huge sharks, and one of the one massive shark attacked and fought for that sailor and ripped it away from Bohm, Roy Bohm, who barely escaped with his own life. He managed to get out of there somehow, but the, the other sailor sadly was lost, and. You know, you can imagine the kind of trauma. I mean, just to go through something like that has got to be horrible, horrible. And this, the, you know, the sadness for, you know, the sailors that were lost. Uh, but, you know, Roy Bohm wasn't going to just be defeated by, by the hardship of life. Rather, rather than going, rather than that, he, this terrible thing that happened to him, he, looked at it it inspired him he, he found inspiration in terms of how to move forward in life how we can you know uh use this to his advantage as opposed to you know just something that haunts him and so what he did uh it inspired him to become shark-like and he had a vision uh, of shark-like warriors in the u.s army shark-like warriors who would emerge from the water and unleash chaos on ruthless enemies uh, and in time, Roy Bohm became the first Navy SEAL. And it would be, it would be hard to, um, it would be hard to estimate just how many, how many lives have been saved thanks to the Navy SEALs. But I'm sure it's, uh, it's significant, uh, large number. And so, you know, something terrible that happened in 1942. Roy Bohm, rather than just being defeated by it, he used it to his advantage and actually created uh, a situ created a, a benefit from it. And uh, so that's what we can all do. I think with when something happens to us, something terrible happens, we got to dig down deep and see if we can find a way to benefit from it, as opposed to just uh, you know letting it haunt us. So. Comment below. We'll see you at the next report. I'm Roger Weston.